We have a little hack we're doing for Sherry's backpack. Uh, she has the Z Packs Arc Haul pack. And uh, let me put it down here on the floor. I'll show you what we're going to do. So the Arc Haul pack has this system here with these carbon fiber rods on both sides that will allow you want to bend that for me? You can bend them and it puts an arc. Here, put, let's turn it sideways. Let's turn it sideways so we can see. So just, just straight up and down and go ahead and put a bend on it. You can bend it and it, and it arcs the pack like that to keep it off of your back. So this netting is the only thing that might be touching your back. So it puts an arc in it. Each of these uh, carbon fiber stays need to be adjusted individually. So to get them both to adjust the same and be comfortable is a little challenging. I mean, she, you know, you do it. Oh uh, yeah, when it's fully loaded, it, it, it's I mean, easier. It's hard to get it even. Mm -hmm. and it's, it, it is a little hard to do and sometimes they'll go, instead of going down, they'll go out like this. Oh, okay, sometimes. yeah, they, they so kind of go wide, not just yeah. not just keep a nice curve to them. So sometimes it's not super yeah. easy to do. Yeah, there's been many times where Sherry's actually said, God, I feel like I'm walking lopsided. Yeah, and like it's, it's mainly because did the I get left and right I, are not adjusted evenly. Yeah. So Z-Pax has made a, uh, a little replacement, so you don't have to buy a whole new pack. They've made it so you can take these carbon fiber round straight rods out and replace them with these carbon fiber uh, pre-angled rods so you don't have to adjust. So today we're taking her pack apart and putting it back together. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is take off this net. I'm only going to take it partially off because I'm actually going to leave the net on for now. Some, some people take the net off completely and they don't put it back on. Uh, some people decide to take it off and then put it back on because it's comfortable. So we're just removing the tabs there. Uh, hold on. Okay, so when I put it back on... It has to go in the bottom the, first. Yeah, all the tabs come out the front. Okay. So, which makes sense. And luckily there's no nubs or anything on the end there, so it just goes out real yep. easy. Okay, so there's the net. Okay, and I'm going to start with... We'll pull the middle rod out first. Uh, get the yeah. tension out of that. Yeah. I'll try to do this without putting a hole in the pack. That would be the key. <clears throat> okay, part one. Okay. Let's see about getting this out now. So the, let's just go real quick and look here. So these are the original rods and the pocket down here. The replacement rods go into the pockets. So there's a pocket here that is reinforced. It's pretty, pretty solid in there. Apparently there's like metal in there. Mm -hmm. on, on both ends. So there's the, the lower pocket there and then up on the shoulder there's the shoulder pocket up here. This is hard to move around. Same, same style pocket up here where the rods go into. And then they feed through this little eyelet here in the middle, and that's where the cross stabilizer bar goes. So we need to pull. This is gonna be the challenge. Right, because this is round and smaller, and you can see. This is square and bigger. The difference, so it's gonna take a little wiggling to get that through there, so hopefully we can do that. Um, the struggle is real. The struggle is real. Okay. Okay. I should just slide right out. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so there's a difference between little, that. Little comparison. Old, that. new. Middle stabilizer. There we go. All right, let's get this puppy in. I don't want to. Nope, that's good. Well, that is tight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just need something to get it started. So we'll, we'll get back to this obviously because. Yeah, we've watched a, a video or two about folks doing this and oh, you, I think you got it. And they say this is really the hardest part of the whole process is getting that to go through. 
We got it started anyway. I do. And another thing that's a little more difficult with these too uh, is so the original rods are just straight tipped rods. The arc ones have this little curve to them. So just that little extra curve right there on the end makes it hard because you go you can go in, but now you've also got to go in and then angle it up to get to get the straight part of the bar to go through. I also should make sure I'm going the right way here because right now I think you can spin it once you go in. Yeah, that's my hope. Alright, we got it to go through. Yeah, that little, just that little itty bitty curve of that nub was, was kind of the issue. But we got it through and we were actually able to spin it. So now uh, the arc is going in the right direction. So now all that's left to do is to put it back together. Alright, we're going to find this little slot here. It has a tab. You want to make sure you don't go underneath that. <clears throat> So yeah, you can see, I don't know if you can see in there, but it's sure. it's kind of... Yeah, there's a little metal bit in there. This pocket is, is solid. It's a hard pocket. Can you see the hole in there? It's I can, yeah. yeah. So it's surrounded. So make sure that's in there real good. Okay, yeah, seat that in there nice and solid. Okay. Feels yeah. like it's in there good. Okay. All right. Okay. Watch, watching vintage hikers, he used this as a shoehorn, which is where we learned how to do this. Let's put that down. Yeah, there we go. that, make a shoehorn. We're going to do the same thing, try to get it in that little tab. Oh, do I even need that? Oh, oh I don't even need that. You don't even need that. Wow, okay. You maybe shouldn't have got the short stays. Well, it's a short backpack. Well, that's true. Interesting. Okay, that just slips in. Oh, okay. Okay, well, let's get the other one put on. Seems like it uh, needs to be spun a little bit more. We seem like we're kind of going out like that, so... Okay. okay we'll, we'll make a couple adjustments on this, uh, and then we will do the same thing to the other side. And... Put the netting back on. Yeah, let's give that a spin. This, take, this takes two of us to actually spin it, so I'm going to pause you here for a second. We'll be right back. All right, we're going to do the same thing to the other side now. Same process over here. I take the old one. I'll give you the new one. Feeding it through this little uh, threaded eyelet here, or sewn-in eyelet, rather. threaded that through and again we had to put it in upside down mm -hmm. just it's easier with that nub on there to get it in upside down mm -hmm. for us anyway and then um, kind of takes two people to, it does to spin to it spun around yeah it's a tight fit through that little yeah so middle pocket for sure so same thing get that in there good make sure I'm in that three needs to go get there Like it went in there, but I guess it did. Have to double check that. We'll look at it. Need the shoehorn for that one. Is this one longer? No, they're no, the, no, the they're same. they are the same size. Maybe I didn't get it in there then. Oh, there it goes. There you go. And then into there. All right. 
that one spun around? How did that get spun? <laughs> I guess all that, all that moving around, moving it, around I think it, just, it just spun in the pocket. There we go. Okay, middle stay. Sharp corners, don't want to put it through the uh, backpack. Not good. kind of holds everything in place. Put the webbing on and it will put the tension on the arch to keep it because this is already going to pop out of the pocket I see. Yep. Oh yeah, see that's... Yeah. That's not good. Yeah, let's uh... Let's go ahead and put the arc or the webbing on and then tighten the webbing down to put tension on the arch. Make sure they're make sure they're in the pockets. Still seated well into the pockets. That can go deeper, I think. permanent arch to the pack now. Nothing that has to be adjusted on a daily basis. We'll have you uh, probably load that up with some stuff and just tighten, maybe, I, I would maybe tighten these as much as they can go yeah. to keep this, the good tension on yeah, either end. Make sure those are seated in there well. Yeah, because that is a little concerning that that just uh, pops, pops out. out so easy. Watching mm -hmm. vintage hikers, they really had to work to get theirs in there. Like they, so they had to shoehorn. Yeah. Um, but this is a short pack, and I ordered short stays. Stays, so mm, I don't know. Well, let's, like I said, let's let's tighten down the netting as much as it'll go to make sure we keep yeah strong tension on the top and bottom ends of those. Yeah, because my only fear is when it's fully loaded and you lift it up like this, and it's gonna just like pop out, pop out of there. We'll uh, we'll let you know after a little bit of a test run how that works. I hope it works, because that would just be one less thing I got to worry about. Yep. Always push them down on making sure these are even. And, uh, uh, uh. Mm -hmm. Good. All right, cool. Arc haul pack with the hack we did, the modification. There's those new stays right here. And as you can see, it allows it to not sit on her back at all. She's got air all the way through there, which is really, really fantastic. Does it feel even? More so than it had been? Uh, I think so. I didn't pack it perfectly but um, light at the end of the tunnel right there look at that <laughs> yeah you've got 24 pounds in there uh two days of food and water 24 pounds yeah okay cool yeah two days of food so that's mm -hmm. that's nice all right excellent well hopefully that works for you we are going to send the original stays to my folks just in case for whatever reason this isn't good we'll have the option to have them sent to us somewhere on trail and uh just put it back to the way it was. But right now, wow, that's really great. That's, the only thing on your back is that net and that just airflow. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, that's, that's gonna be nice when it gets hot and muggy. Like day one. Which may be day one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we checked the weather and it looks like day one where we are starting at Wyabald is gonna be like 60 degrees and sunny, so. Ooh, be in shorts for the first I, day. I don't care, I'll take it, because our first day on trail last year was in a thunderstorm, and several days after that consistently were just monsoons. Right now it's pouring there, there yeah. are these storms, yeah. and so we'll take it. Yeah, so we'll we're, take it. we're missing all that, and but cross your fingers, it looks like we're gonna have really great, great, great weather. 
for the first few days. So. Absolutely. Okay. Have to allow for room for an oxygen bottle. <laughs> There's that. Put it right here. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll let you know how that uh, modification works, and um, fingers crossed that it does. Thanks, guys.